In this video, we will focus on the first beginning stage of throwing the hammer, which are the swings. This is one of the videos part of our hammer throwing series that will help you progress to becoming a better thrower or to even try a new athletics event. Swings are one of the fundamental stages of throwing. They set up speed and momentum of the hammer to ensure it runs along the correct path when transitioning into turns. Swings should be practiced first before attempting to try and progress into turns. Note that any time that you're throwing the hammer implement, it should be done in a throwing cage to stop risk of hurting others around you. It is important to also stress that if you're under the age of 18, you must have a qualified coach present due to health and safety reasons. This is the hammer implement. For this activity, choose a lighter hammer to get started. You do not need a hammer glove for this activity, as we will not be throwing very far. However, if you'd like to wear one, you can. We recommend that you use 1K down from your normal weight. For example, if your age group throw a 4K hammer, throw a 3K as this will help you get used to swinging with the weight. If you're unsure of what your age group throw, check out these lists for men and women of all different age groups. So now let's get on to the exciting part. Here I will show you where you need to stand. Your whole body should be facing towards the back of the cage. Step one. We're going to start by how to hold a hammer. If you're right-handed, you'll put your left hand in first and then your right hand on top. If you're left-handed, it'll be right hand first and then left. Step two. Feet must be shoulder width apart and legs bent to ensure that you have a stable balance. If you do not bend your legs and you start swinging the hammer, the weight of the hammer will pull you out of the circle and move you around. So it's much better if you bend your legs Now we know how to hold the hammer and where and how we have to stand, we're going to progress onto our swings. Step 3. Right handed throwers will swing the hammer in an anti clockwise direction. Left handed throwers will swing the hammer in a clockwise direction. Ideally, you should only swing the hammer round three times. Any more than that, you will lose control of the hammer. The key is for the swings to be nice and controlled and not speedy Gonzales. When the arms are at its highest, just above your head, you should be able to see through the gap in your arms. We call this looking through the window. When the hammer is in front of you, you must have straight arms. If you are left-handed, it might be easier to throw the right-handed way. This is because when you start transitioning into the turns, you will go over to your left. It will also help when you deliver the hammer as you will have a decreased chance of hooking the hammer over the foul sector line. Step 4. Each swing, the hammer should reach a high point and a low point. When it's reached its highest point and swoops down to the low, the hammer is at its fastest. Progressing on further, this will be a really important step when introducing turns. Here are some of the common errors. In this clip, you can see my arms are bent. Arms must be nice and straight to ensure the hammer travels in the correct path. Helicopter swings is another common mistake in beginners. This is because you are swinging above your head only and not letting the hammer sweep down into its desired low point. Here, my legs are also straight, so make sure that they are bent. Once you feel confident, have a go at chucking the hammer onto the grass. You may end up with some of your hammers hitting the cage, but at this stage, it doesn't matter. Practice makes perfect. You'll get better and better with time. Here's a quick recap of what you've learnt about swings in this video. Step 1. How to hold the hammer. Step 2. How you should stand and give yourself some balance. Step 3. Direction of the hammer. And finally, step 4. The high and the low point. Just have fun. It takes a while to get the swings right and don't worry about the distance. That will come when the technique is right in the circle. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and check out some of our other great videos. To find out a little bit more about us, check out our website and social media pages on the screen.